A very good morning. You're with us on Republic TV and I'm Deepthi Sachdeva. Remember uh, the story that we are tracking and the story that we bring to you first in this edition of the news is a story that is an open secret. Where does Daud Ibrahim reside? The answer everyone knows is Pakistan. Not that it takes us any international agency to really confirm that fact because Republic TV, remember, exposed that entire story to you about six months ago. And now UK sanctions are confirming the same. And it only and only, I think, embarrasses Pakistan further. In an updated list of financial sanctions released by the UK government now, they are putting out addresses of three palatial bungalows of the underworld dawn. And uh, before we get in our colleagues and more details on what really uh, do we know as far as those sanctions go, this is also Lieutenant General Raj Kadyan responding to what we heard on that story. Saud Ibrahim has still not been arrested. He is known to be residing in Pakistan. India has repeatedly sent his addresses, including his telephone numbers in Karachi to the Pakistani government. But there has been no action taken against him or to extradite him to India. Now the UK government has sent three addresses of Daud Ibrahim, all of Karachi. I hope Pakistan does not find any more excuse in not sending him back to India and stand the trial. With the new government in Pakistan having taken place, it will also be a test of the Imran Khan's sincerity in improving relations with India that he has been claiming that he wants to. It's a well-known fact that Dawood is, uh, you know, the terrorists are funded by the ISI via Dawood and his uh, uh, company. And uh, Dawood in Pakistan is also a well-known fact. It is acknowledged by the UK now. Uh, I think the world has to fight uh, terror together. It cannot be only one country fighting terror. And we all know that Pakistan is the fountainhead of terror. And funding is very essential to, uh, you know, uh, this growing uh, uh, terror which is there. And the funding is coming by, pe by people like Daud, uh, who has a biggish uh, uh, sort of a company, who has a biggish empire, indulging in a lot of, you know, wrongdoings and illegal activities and hawala transactions. And uh, that is how it is being funded. And now that the UK has also recognized it, I think it's time that other countries also recognize that. And Daud also is put under uh, some sort of, uh, you know, uh, list. All right, so a lot of these analysts remember that you've just heard on the broadcast say that this is going to be the real test of the intent of an Imran Khan. Now, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, who should be walking the talk? If he remember talks peace, he should practice peace. And if he says that uh, Daud Ibrahim does not reside in Pakistan, much like we've seen uh, the earlier premiers doing, he must then produce proof. Because uh, remember, the UK sanctions again is very clear. In fact, is uh, mentioning three of uh, Daud's residences in that entire list now that is out. It is reiterating the presence of Daud Ibrahim in Pakistan. This is a lie that Pakistan, remember, has been playing on the world for far too long. And more details of those addresses uh, are up on your screens, viewers. And as I said, this is again and again a story that has embarrassed Pakistan, but Pakistan... Uh, does not get the message, uh, Shavan. Is, is that not right? Because one after the other, you've heard so many investigative agencies again and again reiterating the presence of Daud Ibrahim in Pakistan. But Pakistan said, listen, we do not even know where he stays. Well, DP, what was known all this while has now been put out in public domain with the United Kingdom putting out this, this updated list of financial sanctions that have been released by the UK government. And remember, all the three addresses of fugitive underworld Don Daoud Ibrahim, all of them basically belong to Karachi. What is known all this while is now out in the public domain, what Pakistan has been refusing all this while. Because remember, time and again, Pakistan has been maintaining that uh, there is no link whatsoever with Daoud Ibrahim. And not just that, they have yes. taken whatever action they had to take mm. so far. And they've been saying that India has mm. never provided any evidence. All right, it's a new premier now, Shavan, in Pakistan. Let's see what he really does. And as Lieutenant General Raj Kadyan said, will he walk the talk? We leave it there for the moment, Shavan. Thank you. More breaking news coming in.